Hi, hey, Gemini's. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is an X reading to see if your ex is likely to come back or if you guys are likely to get back together. This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. But if it does, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video for me if you would. If you guys are interested in a personal reading. Sorry, guys. If you're interested in a personal reading, um, please visit my website at pinkarianjim.com. There's a selection of readings there if you're interested. If you, for some reason, the, um, the website is not working, then you're more than welcome to email me if you need to, okay? It may take me a minute to get to it. it usually doesn't take longer than 24 hours, though. All right, guys, let's see what's going on for my Gemini's. Gemini and your ex. What's going on for Gemini and their ex? Gemini. energy. Ooh, it's a double card. Strong attachment to somebody. Um, strong, strong attachments between the two of you. Codependency, obsession. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Present position is the world card. Cycles ending. New cycles beginning. Um, putting something to end that should have happened a long time ago, I feel. I just got that very strongly. Something that should have been put to bed um, is, is coming. It's coming. The other person is the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like working. I feel like um, probably working a whole lot, maybe two jobs even. Um, could, could be a family. Could be a family that they're supporting, children that they're supporting, child support that they're paying, um, you know, that sort of thing. What you want is a Knight of Cups. What you want is passion. What you want is romance in your life. You want somebody to feel about you um, like you are their everything. Hmm. Somebody that you share like feelings for. Not you feel more love for them than they feel for you because, you know, that's, that's bullcrap. Okay. Oh my gosh. You guys are... Wow. Okay, so what they want is a Knight of Swords. They want to speak to you. You don't see them as a Knight of Cups, though. You don't feel like you can have that with them. Look at that. They're facing you. They're facing your back, actually. They're looking at you. You're looking out. You're not looking towards them. You're trying to find your Mr. Right or Mrs. Right somewhere else. You don't see that with this person. That cycle has ended with them, you feel, okay? And it has, because they have a Ten of Pentacles as well, which is another ending. Tens are endings, okay? That's the max. All they can do is start over again. This is also a relationship ending here in their current position. Could have been a relationship with you where there was a strong and solid foundation there um, that is no longer, okay? And they want it back, okay? What you need is not to worry about what is in the past. It's time to look forward um, because there are other cups out there for you. This person is not the end all be all. If they didn't offer you the love that you that you needed in your life, there's somebody else out there for you. Put the five of cups there. Leave that alone. Okay? Can't make somebody love you. Um, and why would you want to? Because you're lovable. Okay. Okay, so what they need is the eight of swords and this is to get out of their head stop thinking so much you know because i just feel like this person does a whole lot of of thinking and not acting and when they do speak it's abrupt it's rude um 
no positive emotions, maybe aggressive, I feel like, here. Is there anyone else involved on your side? I feel like you're healing, but I do feel like there is somebody that you have your sight set on. There is somebody that you have your sight set on here. Somebody that you feel like, you know, you're probably supposed to be with. It's not this person though, because this person is facing out of the reading as well. Not, not towards the other person. Hmm. Now, Eight of Cups is what they have for is anyone else involved, right? No. No. It's possible that they have walked away from somebody after walking away from you and trying to come back your way. They're confused though. They're looking right at the moon. Look at this. They're walking, they're walking towards you, but looking at the moon. They've quite possibly hidden their feelings from you as well, I feel. Like they didn't really divulge to you how they felt. That's why you're wanting a Knight of Cups. Somebody that does not mind saying, I love you. Okay. Is it likely? Ten of Swords. You know, Taurus had this card as well. Tars had this card as well. So maybe you're dealing with a Tars or your Cusper or their Cusper. Okay? You may want to check that reading out. It's only likely, I feel, if, if the person that knows that they have done wrong, if they know that they're the reason why the two of you are not together, they are the ones that have to let down their guard and be the, not the bigger person, but do the right thing and apologize, make it right, um, do the things that they need to do. Okay? So it's possible. I'm not going to say it's likely, but it's definitely possible. But it calls for somebody just coming back down to earth and not feeling like, you know, they're the shit, you know, and make things right here. Okay? So Gemini's, that's what I have for you for the 13th through the 19th. I'll speak with you soon. Bye now.